Folks who can take these and make this appreciate what Bill Snyder is able to do with a college football team. In his 20 plus years as a college football coach, he's always been able to get the most out of whatever he has to work with. After a three year absence that saw Kansas State flounder, Snyder returned to Manhattan and took over a team that was expected to finish near the bottom of the North Division. Instead of floundering, the Wildcats were competing for a division title and a bowl game in late November. Year one of Snyder Part Two provided a foundation for this season. I, I think every team provides, you know, a certain foundation window for, you know, the, the next team. Uh, they're never alike. I mean, they're always going to be different. With, I mean, you could have all 105, 125 of them back. And, and the season will be different and circumstances will be different. But I, I think it really is foundation. Kansas State must replace six offensive starters, its top receivers, plus needs consistent quarterback play. But the Wildcats have one reliable offensive weapon in senior running back Daniel Thomas. He led the Big 12 in rushing last season, gaining over 1,200 yards. Considering Kansas State was last in the Big 12 in passing, his numbers were remarkable. This season, Thomas will run behind an offensive line that returns four starters. I think it's a big part of our offense. Um, it's primarily the focus point of our offense. So um, we were pretty strong last year with it. So I think, you know, it's how the um, run game goes. That's how the team goes, I believe. I think we'll be better. I mean, we have four returning starters and we're plugging a new guy in. So, you know, with those guys have um, plenty of experience last year, you know, they started every game. So hopefully, you know, I'm pretty sure we'll be a better right. offensive line team. Even with Thomas as the main weapon, Snyder knows that a one-dimensional offense will struggle in a conference like the Big 12. Well, I think to have a, a really strong running game, you'd better be able to throw the ball around. And, and that's always been my approach, is that we want to create <clears throat> balance in our, in our offense. Because uh, we got a plethora of offense. You know, we got so many things that we can do, and it's just finding the right things that, that suit the... Uh, the capabilities of the 11 guys that you put on the, put on the field. With Thomas and a patient offense controlling the football, K-State had a huge edge in time of possession last season. Playing keep away helped the defense. I mean, that's a, a great asset to have, especially if you play defense. Um, I remember one game in particular where I think we, uh, we started the game off, the defense started the game off, uh, got a three and out, and then the offense had the ball almost the entire first quarter. We, and then we went out and we were on defense again at the end of the first quarter, so we were out there about a series and a half. And uh, I mean, just to, to stay fresh, especially one in that, that fourth quarter, um, how many plays their defense played compared to ours, uh, I mean, that's definitely an advantage for us. The defense was solid last season, even though in three of the six losses, the Wildcats allowed 38 or more points. Hartman, one of the Big 12's top safeties, is confident that the defense will be improved this season. I mean, you've got a strong secondary, uh, a lot of talented guys at linebacker and some guys bailing out uh, at, at the defensive line position. That's something that we haven't necessarily had in the, in the past couple of years, so I'm really excited to get this going. With 18 seasons as a head coach, Snyder realizes that past performance, such as last season, does not guarantee future results. Oh, it's, uh, it's always a work in progress. I mean, they have so much to do, and, and they have to be tied together in such a... Uh, a, a tight, tight fashion, and I, uh, I think that you know one of the things that we all have to be careful of, and I, all coaches across the country feel the same way. I'm quite certain is, you know, just because you have a certain number of players back at certain positions does not guarantee that you're going to be a little bit better. Or you're going to be improved in that area, and we still have uh, room to go. I, you know, I like the young guys that we have there, but I also know that uh, if we take that for granted. Uh, we'll we'll run into some trouble. For Big12Sports.com, I'm Wendell Barnhouse. One, two, three, yes.